Micah chapter 2. Woe to those who devise iniquity and work evil on their beds. When the morning is light, they get up and practice it. So out of all the things that God could have criticized his people for, he said, it's what you're thinking about when you lie on your bed, because in the morning you get up and do it. Quite clearly, thought leads to action. Do not think that you are so clever and strong that you can have a mind filled with worldly things, but externally do the right religious things. No, God is interested in your heart. The state of our heart is supremely important to God. This is why when the Lord Jesus began preaching his message in the Sermon on the Mount, this is what he had to say. It's what you think about that matters. If you think hateful thoughts in your heart about your brother, it is in God's book as if you have killed him. Now let us give due weight to this. It is the heart, it is the mind, and what we think about, that is so important. This is why Paul says, if any man have not the spirit or the mind of Christ, he is none of his. So we need help. We need help because we have no buttons on our head that we can press to make ourselves think differently. What you need to do is to open your mind, open your heart to God's influence and ask for his spirit, to his mind, to come into your spirit, to be spiritually minded. This is the essence of what it is to be a Christian. And it was taught back here in the Old Testament in times like this, where God says, right, I'm judging you for your thoughts, for what you think. We're not used to that because in our society, it's what you do or what you say that matters. There's no criminal law that says you're not allowed to think about this, that or the other. But the God with whom we have to do looks at your thoughts. That is critically important to him, even though it does not matter in society. So, fill your mind consciously as far as you can with God's word. Have psalms, hymns and spiritual songs playing in your mind, not the lyrics of this world. Have God's word going into you all the time from your mobile device or whatever. And be spiritually minded and you will act according to that.